Yeah, I start diving in Switzerland, you know, and I dove all the lakes in Switzerland, and uh, I still do some uh, cold water diving. I just recently went up to 3,000 meters for a uh, mountain lake, uh, high mountain lake uh, pictures and uh, under the ice. So everything is possible. No, 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 no. I'm, and I like it, I like it. Uh, I like the environment because even though in murky water you are more concentrated on the subjects because you have not a wide view. So you concentrate yourself on a, a small area and you find regard, looking for animals, whatever, you, you see more animals. No, no, no. So, uh, I'm used to that and I love it, I love it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I never dove here, but uh, why not the next time, uh, coming back. Yeah. Okay, that's good. What advice do you have for photographers in the Netherlands who want to improve their pictures in, in circumstances like we have? Yeah, I mean, uh, they have to improve their uh, murky water strobe techniques. This is in my photography school the, the main problem. I would say 70% of my students they arriving with backscatters because they don't know there's several points you have to take very much care to avoid backscatters and after a week they have no more backscatters. I have some guys that I took, take, took picture for 15 years and always backscatters and after two days they're gone you know but they have to go into this subject, they can search for answers on internet, whatever. Many photographers write down their opinions about how to avoid backscat. Because I, I know, and uh, I think it will not be different here. This is the main uh, enemy <laughs> of murky water diver, diving or photography: the backscat. So, yeah. Do they need to improve their techniques or their creativity? Yeah, I have not seen the pictures they did here. Uh, tomorrow evening I can tell you more if the techniques are perfect and n no creativity involved or if all the pictures are creative but full of backscatter. <laughs> it's very difficult. You know? But uh, to be a good photographer you have to work on both uh, trails. You know? One is Handling all the techniques in clear water, murky water, day at night, current, cold, warm, and of course also creativity. To put a, a simple subject in your frame so it looks spectacular. And the viewers say, ah, oh, wow. Yeah. Not looking for uh, subjects we are, which are already very spectacular. This is another thing. Most photographers, they don't take any more simple subjects. What they do, they travel all over the world for all big animals and all spectacular subjects. And they forget, apart to that, they forget more or less uh, to be creative and to work with a simple subject but with very great results. And that can be a, a sea urchin, for example. Shooting a sea urchin against the sun, all the light rays breaks in the spines. A simple subject, but a very strong image, very creative image. This is what, the, what I miss nowadays a little bit. Thank you very much. Okay, my pleasure. <laughs>